Hey everybody, welcome to another Ask of Today. I know I was going to do this on every Sunday, but it is Monday today. Yesterday was so hectic, I completely forgot about it. And today also, I've had a haircut, so I feel quite fresh. Uh, what do you guys think? I went for a short haircut this time. I can't even see it. There you go, look at that. that. I think that's a, it's a two on the sides and like a four on the top. And I've kind of spiked it to the side. Yeah, that's what my new haircut looks like. But I wanted a new haircut because the long kind of haircut was getting annoying and it's it's not warming up, but it's brightening up out there. You can just see the outside. It's like brightening up a bit. And the long hair was like, oh, I'm dying. So I was like, yo, I'm gonna get a haircut today. So I did. Yeah. Anyway, first question is, what is your favorite film? Now, I get asked this a lot, and I don't know what my favorite film is. I don't have a favorite film. I love so many different films, like comedy, action, uh, cartoon, animation, kids' films. They're hilarious. They're great fun. Uh, I also like the horror films, though. I really like horror films. But if I had to pick one film, if there was one film that I had to go right, I need, I'm going to watch this every day or something. It would probably be... Now, some of you are going to hate me for this because I know this film is like you either love it or you hate it. It's like Marmite. It's like uh, yeast extract. It's it's so... I don't know, but I'm going to say it. Please don't hate me if you hate this film. Grown-ups. I know. It's an Adam Sandler film, right? And Adam Sandler is, I think, a good funny actor. He's not a good actor, but he's funny. He's great fun to watch, uh, and I really enjoy his stuff. And Grown Ups is, like, one of my favorite films ever. I really can't tell you why. It's not, there's no reason. Whenever I watch it, I just love it. And I've watched it about a hundred times. I just love the film. The second one, I really didn't like. I did not like the second one at all. It was a huge disappointment. But the first one was so good. Uh, it was kind of that whole kind of uh, friend, brotherly feel to it. Uh, and it was funny. You know, it had some good girls in it. It had some really good action scenes in it, like at the water park and stuff. And it was just an amazing film. So yeah, if I had to pick one film, it'd be that. But otherwise, I love like every kind of film. If you don't know, I'm actually... I, I have this card that lets me go into the cinema and I pay 15 pounds a month and I can see as many films as I want as many times as I want and uh, Charlotte and I go to the cinema like every weekend uh, whenever we're together we'll go see films we might even see two in one day three in one day at a cinema we're like right we're having a movie day we're getting through this but uh, yeah it would be grown ups I've seen some really cool films recently I know I got off topic I've seen some good films recently uh, we went to see one last night cool last the night before called Focus, which has Will Smith and the girl from Wolf of Wall Street. I always forget her name. Marit? Margaret? Something like that. Uh, and it was so good. Definitely go watch that. There's some really cool films coming up. And I know everybody's going to be asking this because they asked this in the last conversation. Of, have you seen Fifty Shades of Grey? Yes, I have. I went to see it with Charlotte. And what do I think of it? It was actually quite good. It wasn't bad, and I am going to go see the second one. So it wasn't bad. Uh, I know it's a little bit of a weird film to watch, but it was actually quite good, and I enjoyed it. But yeah, they are my favorite films. Wait, not Fifty Shades of Grey. That's not my favorite film. Like, the film before that was my favorite film. Growing up, that was my favorite film. What is your favorite animal? Ah, I don't know. I, I just don't know this one, because uh, in my head, I'd be like, oh, if I had a monkey, I'd be so cool, and it'd be so happy to have a monkey, but really, if I actually did have a monkey, it probably wouldn't be that amazing, so just because I have dogs, and I love my dogs, it's gonna be dogs, there's no other question about it. Have you ever met a famous person? No. Not really. Like, nobody really that famous. Uh, it's hard what you think fame is, because obviously fame... Uh, I've met some of my uh, Swindon Town football club football players. I've met a load of them, um, but and you people probably wouldn't say they were, like, famous. They, I mean, they are. They play professional football, uh, but then I play professional video games. So, you know, people... It's so hard to say who's famous and who's not. Uh, it's whatever you kind of take of it. I've never met anybody, like, you know, super famous. I've never gone and met... Um, Jay-Z, for example. No idea why Jay-Z came into my head. But I've never seen Jay-Z and gone, Oh, hello, Jay-Z. I like your music. And he goes, I like your video games. So, no, not really. I've never met anyone famous. iOS or Android? The big question in the mobile debate. Um, now, I know Samsung just released or announced their S6 the other day. And it looks pretty much the same as the S5. Maybe a little bit more powerful. Actually, I swear I had a dual-core processor. I don't know. I'm not going to go into those details. But really, I prefer... Uh, iOS. Now, you can see, that's really hard for me to say because I don't, like, go, oh, everything I need is iOS or, oh, everything I need is Android. I have iOS devices. I have Android devices, but due to reliability, construction, 
uh, performance, just general awesomeness. iOS takes the plunge. Android are great fun. You can uh, modify stuff on Android. You can have all that kind of good fun. And I really do enjoy the customizable experience. But if I had to pick one device, it would be my iPhone, which is iOS. So iOS does win for me. Where do you want to live when you're older? So I guess this is where do I want to live? Uh, maybe we'll say 10 years from now. I probably will be in this country, which is England. Uh, I live in Wiltshire, which is like a country town. Uh, country town. A country county. And I really like the country because the countryside is nice. We also have big towns, big cities around us, which is really good. Uh, but if I had to pick one area, I would love to be somewhere hot. So whether that's like out in California, which would be just amazing. Even in Spain, southern France, something like that. Somewhere really hot, nice. I can go outside and I don't have to be like, oh, it's so cold, get in the car. Like preheating the car. Uh, it would be so amazing. So... You know, I would like to be somewhere foreign, I guess. I, I really want an easy life. Like, I want uh, a life where you can just relax, wake up, and you go, I'll have an extra 10 minutes, get back in bed. Or you get up and you're like, you're on the beach or something. I'd prefer that than have a big house in the country that's freezing cold all the time, for example. So, probably somewhere like California, somewhere like Spain, somewhere like south of France. I'm not sure what Charlotte has to say about this, and I know she's watching this now, so... Yeah, I, I haven't told you my plans yet, Charlotte, but maybe something like that uh, would happen in the future. Did you enjoy school? No. No, I did not enjoy school. I, well, it's hard to say. I, I went to a few different schools, um, and uh, I, I kind of liked it as I got further across, but school to me was a drag. I really hated it. The Probably the biggest issue was I didn't want a job that you needed to have English lit, you needed to have English language, you needed to have even mathematics to a degree. You didn't have to know what, you know, the Pythagoras' theorem is. You don't need to know that for so much stuff. And we sat there learning it, busting our ass off, and we're like, this is taking forever to learn all this stuff. Uh, and I went to private school, so my parents paid for me to go to school. Um, and it was just like a drag. Now, the school I went to, which was Dornsey's, was amazing. It was a lovely school. The people there were great. The teachers were the best teachers ever. Uh, and it was amazing family atmosphere. But I had to go to school on a Saturday until 1 o'clock. I had to, uh, I didn't leave school until about 6 o'clock. And I arrived at school at about like 8.30. No, we started class at 8.30. I arrived at school at 8. So I was there from 8. 9, 10, wait, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I was there 10 hours a day out of 24 hours. Uh, and I also was there on a Saturday, so that was uh, really annoying. But I didn't like school, but I did well. I didn't get below a B in my results. I got like B, 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 A, 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 A star, A star. So... I did pretty well, considering I didn't like school, but no, I didn't really like school. Do you like cheese? Yeah, I like cheese. Uh, other career paths. What is your other career path, or what would my other career path be? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I always wanted a job in gaming. Like, I've been always said to my parents, you know what, I really want to work in gaming one day. And they're like, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you'll work in gaming one day, uh, but uh, I mean they're really supportive, uh, but you know It's like I've always wanted to work in gaming, and I'm so happy. I am working in gaming uh, But if I had to do another career path, it would probably be something to do with gaming or maybe something to do with retail I'd like to do something with cars like buying selling cars. That would be really good fun uh, But I honestly don't know. I mean, I've always wanted to like make my own burger joint You know that would be great fun Ho owning your own burger joint or your own cookie shop I mean, that would be the life, right? Cookie, right, here we go. This is my life. Cookie shop. <laughs> a cookie shop. A cookie shop on the beach in California uh, with a nice house, with a nice car, easy life. Boom, done. That's me sorted. So, yeah. Uh, it would be a cookie shop is my next career path. So that's it guys I hope you enjoyed today's Sunday Q&A on a Monday if you did leave a like down below the last video I did guys got four and a half thousand likes in the first day you guys are amazing Thank you so much for that. You don't know how much it means uh, and if you could like this video as well That would be amazing So as far as the giveaway as well I will be leaving the winners of the giveaway in the description down below in this video So go check that out if you are a winner that is for the ad bounty one and that is also for the top subscribers this month I'll be emailing you guys straight away uh, so look I don't know why I did that uh, so look out for that uh, uh, so look out for that it'll be iTunes cards Android cards etc etc so congratulations to you guys I'll also be doing a giveaway at the end of this month so all you have to do is be a subscriber so make sure you subscribe uh, and also if you want free stuff free games free gems free iTunes cards free Xbox games use that bounty the link is in the description invite code of I would be amazingly grateful but until next time thank you guys so much for watching peace out